How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to be playing another episode of the Stronghold Legends Steam Edition single player campaign. King Arthur of course, the easy one, and we are on chapter number 4, The Making of Sir Gareth. Gareth, as they would say. The king has sent his trusted knights out into the countryside to seek information that will help repair this broken land. However, this afternoon a woman named Lynette arrived at Camelot and petitioned the king to aid her sister, Lady Leonors, who is being besieged in Castle Perilous by the Red Knight. With all of the round table far from Camelot, Arthur had no one to send. The situation looked hopeless until a kitchen boy named Gareth offered his services. Lynette was not best pleased accepting the help of a man who smelt of cabbage, handsome though he was, but there was no other. So she reluctantly agreed. I know it must seem strange that one such as I should want to volunteer for a task as dangerous as this, but I've been practicing my swordsmanship since I was little, and my brother, Sir Gawain, says I'm pretty good. I just want a chance to prove myself, then maybe the king will let me join the round table, and I'll be out of those stinking kitchens for good. All right, then, let's get started. I'm playing it on the hardest difficulty, of course. Sir Gareth is a fine lad, sire, but he is still just a boy. You must watch carefully over him as he guides Lynette to the castle. The Red Knight has left three of his most trusted lords to block Sir Gareth's passage, my liege. His route to the castle will not be an easy one. Ah, sir! Okay, so we have limited numbers of troops here, and this is essentially... Oh, dear, sire. Lady I don't know, that advisor just never shuts the hell up. I really have an issue with him. He, I mean, I want to talk now, and he seems to want to narrate the entire situation here, but I was going to talk a little bit about, yeah, these pikemen are under fire now, and we're going to use them as the meat shield, essentially, here, against the, uh, those men-at-arms over there, up, up ahead. The archers are much faster, and I want these archers to target those archers up there. I'm going to bring the crossbowman up. Hopefully this goes quite well. Yeah, so far I'm liking what I see here. Now, Sir Gareth is probably one of the least useful uh, lords or knights of the round table. He has the ability to reveal traps. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much universally considered the weakest power of them all because uh, it takes a long time to recharge it and traps are not just that big of a deal usually. So what I want to do here is I want to bait out the Green Knight. He's the first one. He's right up here. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to have the Pikemen line up. Defensive formation. Oops. I meant, I meant to select all of them. Line formation right there. I'm going to move Sir Gareth back a little bit because his horse is valuable yet. We don't get any additional honor. And then I'm going to put the crossbowman right behind the pikemen, like that. Put the archers behind their crossbows. And I'll bring the swordsman up front. And I think I'm going to have these uh, men-at-arms flank here on the side so they can throw their spears. Now, I need one bow to go ahead and antagonize the green knight. So that way he'll run out here towards... The, my little ambush that I set up. Okay. Now, once the horse is down, okay, things are going quite well. Now, technically, I could just move everything back, but we should... He shouldn't do too much damage, I don't think. Because we have, the, like, the full weight of the crossbowmen against them. Excellent. And I'm going to use Sir Gareth. If you looked at the hints, you'll see that these areas like right here are where the traps are. Obviously, you can go around it, uh, so it's not that big of a deal. It's an interesting idea, I think. The idea of having traps scattered all over the countryside. So now we're actually coming up against some harder stuff here, obviously. But we will get more troops as time goes by. We're going to do loose formation, so that way we don't waste any additional time here. And the archers have antagonized or triggered those yeah got rid of those men at arms up there so we're going to advance onwards now this next part is a little bit interesting because i'm not sure exactly how i want to advance i think i want to bait out those uh, pikemen so i'm going to put my archer up here on the bridge what i'm going to do 
is basically just send everything, including Gareth. I'm gonna slow this down a little bit as well. Okay, now everything attack. I'm sending the rest of these units in. I don't know what's your problem, Gareth. Kill these guys. Okay, I need these smetted arms to attack as soon as possible. But it was brutal. That many facing down that many archers with so few troops. And unfortunately, my crossbows are taking a good deal of damage here from this. I don't know how everything gets set to standby. Everything should be on aggressive. Okay, good. We got through it this time. I'm not all that happy with the results, but it's much better than last time, I'll say that. By far. I have to sacrifice Gareth a little bit, though. And he only has enough honor to get one more horse. I'm going to have to be a little bit cautious in how I decide when to get it. Okay, we don't have a lot of units here, but we can bait those uh, men at arms just fine with the archers. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get these men at arms back here. And uh, yeah, okay, the the pikemen and the swordsmen go up front here. They should have had a column formation. I'm not exactly sure that's a good idea. Let's get them back here. And what I'm going to try to do is bait the... Um, Spear the no oh, okay that was a little bit soon. They're gonna throw a lot of spears and it's gonna suck. Okay, I think they mostly attack Gareth. Not exactly my proudest moment. Uh, I had better idea. I had a different plan in mind, and it was essentially to shoot at them and then run away. But apparently that wasn't destined to happen. So instead, what I'm gonna do is try it again target one of them what does a kitchen boy know about fighting <laughs> poor sir gareth i don't think lynette is being quite fair to him my leave and troops are under attack oh yeah we're getting nailed quite well son of a gun he got one of my crossbowmen i really dislike those spears i should have had my spears to take some of the damage from that that was terrible on my part ah and then we have to deal with these mantlets up here as well as two swordsmen. So the question is, how do I get involved in that without just losing everything? What would you have I think to? it's going to be I'll serve thee well. pikemen, New order, sire. swordsmen, Our strings are and get these archers off to the side. Check I do have four crossbowmen yet. I wish I had five because they're very good at taking down swordsmen and knights. Uh, that was a big loss, really. I'm not sure if I should send Sir Gareth into this because there's a potential that he could get killed, really. So what I'm going to do, I want these swordsmen to attack the mantlets. And then I'm also going to send in the men-at-arms and the archers. Attack that. The, sword, uh, the crossbowmen, I want to stay back here a little bit. And where's Gareth? Okay, bring Gareth in. I don't know what that swordsman's doing. My, okay, everybody retreat. All of my melee units need to retreat. And I'm going to try to deal with the swordsman here. With just the archers. Damn it. These archers are still shooting at my guys. Back up. Everybody retreat. This is just terrible the way I'm managing this. Everybody, loose formation. I want you to go as fast as possible. In other words, if you can walk fast, walk fast. It's really that simple. Really? Guys, come on. What on earth? Get over there. For the most part, they're ignoring everything else. Just keep walking. These archers are doing a good deal of damage here. And Oh, those are all my archers. Okay. That's all I have left. This swordsman is starting to come back. If I can kite these guys at all, it's going to help me a lot because they're going to deal a lot of damage otherwise. So there's just the blue knight over here now. Attack him. Everybody attack him. Get him. Okay, we took care of the swordsman over there and the blue knight is down. Actually, that was not half bad. I just wish I hadn't lost that one crossbow. And I wish I had actually taken the time to deal with those two archers there because they're going to cause more damage when I have to run up to them. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, that's pretty decent. Not too unhappy with the results there. More, I, I'm left with more troops than I usually do. And I'm going to speed this up now. 
Let's go up to 80. See if we can get something done here. I have loose formation, so they should be walking as fast as possible. And send the pikemen over here to deal with those two archers. As well as swordsmen and Gareth. I think they will do the least amount of damage that way. But we could also rush the men-at-arms over here while they're distracted. Let's see if that works. Yeah, love it. That was actually quite good. Feeling pretty good about this. Maybe we should get Gareth his horse back. I'm not sure. We have one opportunity to get his horse back. And if he gets killed again, then he's horseless for the rest of this scenario. And they're likely... Okay, yeah, there are more traps in here because that's what it said in the briefing. It mentioned, you know, look out for areas that the enemy commonly puts traps and they showed this kind of area. Ooh, wow, that was really close. I almost ran my guys into it. As a matter of fact, it was the opposite. That area was safe, and this area over here was dangerous. Okay, well, I'm glad to know they're switching things up a bit, and I actually forgot that from the last time I'd played it. So I'm actually feeling quite a bit more optimistic about all of this. And get that swordsman up here. And I'm going to use the archers to bait those uh, men-at-arms over there. Get them. Please target them. Thank you. Runs around there every single time. Wonderful. And he got st stabbed by a spear. And one of my pikemen also died from it. Eh. Don't have time to micro the entire thing. Get over here. You morons. I, I, what is so appealing about what? I mean, is it faster pathing? Is it, it must be. Because it just doesn't make any sense to me why they would choose that path all the time. Either that or they're just suicidal lemmings. My Lemmings would imply they're following a leader, and that would actually reflect poorly upon my leadership skills, wouldn't it? Okay, we're going to get the pikemen to move over across the bridge as well, and then we have four archers left, and so we're just going to use the men-at-arms, I think. Okay, excellent. Send the men-at-arms in. They're going to be pretty much overwhelmed with all the spears being thrown, so they won't be able to do much. The archers won't be able to do much damage. Don't worry, sire. I'm sure her bark is worse than Again. An ally, has sent us some An ally has sent us some reinforcements. Where are they? Uh, they should be somewhere in this corner. Oh, there they are. It wasn't a whole lot. It was just some archers. We can use archers. Obviously, crossbows are always better, but I am perfectly willing to settle for archers. So we have two uh, swordsmen up ahead. And I think... Where am I? Okay, there are my crossbows. That's what I wanted to use to bait them. But I guess we're going to see about that. I can use these men-at-arms. They have spears, so that's going to deal some additional damage. And then I'm going to send an arch over here to bait the swordsman. It's running behind those trees right now. They should be coming. Excellent. Move more of my melees into a prominent position in the front. The swordsmen are taking heavy damage. So we have a bandit camp up ahead, but we also have this alternative path that goes up here on top of the bluff where the archers are. And the interesting thing about that is I think I actually want to deal with the bandits first. Yeah, because if we do deal with the archers, I'm going to end up aggroing the knight over here, and then we might have bandits and archers that we have to deal with. Or bandits and... Um, who is it? It's the, the red knight, I guess, that's causing all the trouble. So, uh, we're going to try to move these units into range of the bandits. I want all the archers to target this archer. Troops are under attack. Oh, well, I just lost another one to a bandit. Sharp, lads. Yeah, this... Uh, I'm not sure I did the right thing here. Okay, now they're going to keep spawning units if we don't go ahead and attack this whole thing. So I need to attack it and get rid of the camp in its entirety. Why are you guys not attacking? Do something about this. Okay. Your command. Taking care of the bandit camp. Now we just need to take care of the archers up here. And the best way to do that, of course, is to go ahead and get more units. There should be some supply units over here. So I'm going to bolster my ranks a little bit so I have something... There we go. So I have a little bit something extra to fight with against them. They're going to move really slow unless I uh, turn them to a loose formation. I'm pretty sure there are no traps over here. The next trap is over here by those ruins. That was really the only indicator that we had of where the traps would be. Okay, so we have quite a few archers now, which means that hopefully when we attack other archers, we lose fewer. And I'm also going to select all the men-at-arms. We want really fast units for this, I think. 
And the interesting thing here is going to be the fact that it's going to aggro the Yellow Knight because he's down there. Which means I should actually be moving all of these units over into this area. We're going to pretty much move them all up here. Up into the mountains. So that way, you know, we're going to have some pretty overwhelming firepower here. Once the knight comes around the mountain. I mean, the men-at-arms do make a good meat shield, so maybe I should actually grab all these pikemen and advance on the archers with them first. That way the initial damage is done to units that can actually tank it, and then we're going to move in with the men-at-arms and the archers. Once a lot of that tanking, the initial damage is done. Okay. It's happening. Let's bring the archers and the men-at-arms in. And I want these archers to take care of the archers over there as soon as possible, really. Okay, not too bad. We have a swordsman coming around the cliff here. I'm going to bring my archers around. Hopefully they can start shooting from this area. And then, of course, we have the stronger troops, the swordsmen, the crossbows, and everything over there. No, apparently they can't shoot from there. Oh, they can shoot a little bit. A couple of them can shoot. Yeah, the terrain can be tricky at times, I'll admit. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to place some crossbows strategically around here so they can't get them all. And then they'll just gradually whittle away at them as these units walk by. Grab all these archers. I'm going to get them up here in the middle of the path. So that way we can fill the swordsman that's coming up with as many arrows as possible before he gets in range. The archers are very fast, especially compared to knights and uh, crossbows. So now I'm not sure which units that the knight will go after. Hopefully he's just going to go after the archers. But the crossbowmen are also giving him some hell from the sidelines. Move that archer. Okay, great. The yellow knight is down. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to position myself to bait a lot of these troops in. And how I'm going to do that... So I'm going to grab all of my archers and stick them up on top of here. Take all the melee units and move them out of the way. And put out, well, maybe you can put the crossbows right there. Just grouping these troops back up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these archers to bait all of uh, these other uh, men at arms into attacking. And the thing is, hopefully, as they go by here, a lot of them are going to get mowed down. And they, I don't think they can actually reach my archers. You know, so they're, my archers are going to be out of range, so they're going to be essentially safe from the spears. But I could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure that's the way it worked last time I did it, but like I said, I could be wrong about the entire thing. Which would be a shame. Now, the next traps are actually in this area, I'm pretty sure. And there are a lot of them. And they're very deadly, so I'm going to bait those. Oh, oh, this is not good. Okay, I should have actually baited the other batch first. Right, so I'm going to get Gareth. I'm going to give him his horse, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, let's give him his horse. Better not mess this up. So now Gareth is really fast again because he's got his horse back. And I think I'm going to use him to reveal the traps in that area. So I've got to be careful of this. The men-at-arms are especially deadly once they have acquired their target. So you have to make sure they stay out of range. Because once they start throwing, it's like instantaneous death. So some of this is just a waiting game, essentially. Okay. They saw me, so I, I need to move. Where is Gareth? Right there he is. Okay, a lot of damage should be done to these guys. They walk through here. Yeah, you can see a lot of them are dropping. Okay, that is how I want it to be. I'll lose a lot less troops that way then. Obviously, I did lose an archer already. But uh, that's a pretty small you know, price to pay, considering the kind of damage I'm going to be doing here. Okay, target these guys. Okay, we got them. We got them aggroed onto us. So move this archer out of the way. And they will follow quite blindly. And here you can see the effectiveness of this trap idea, essentially. Oh, that did not work as well as I'd planned it would. Oh well. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, get here, here's an idea. Go back around. No, go back around. Yeah, there it is. So we're going to lead them back around through there so they can get shot at again. Oh, that is devious. And also, I think they've all thrown their spears now. Really, I was hoping they'd be doing more damage. 
at this point. Oh! Oh well. Now I'm just poking around doing this, aren't I? Not getting a whole lot done. We are playing on 90, but there are only two, two men at arms left there. Maybe I should have put archers on the other side of this bluff as well, instead of just having them on one side. Might be more likely that they'd be able to shoot. And I could always use Gareth to reveal those traps. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Wasting so much time here, just running around doing nothing. It got two, two good shots in before they started coming after me. And hopefully, my archers can take down two. Yeah, okay, they did. Great. Yeah, the other the other one was a, actually a large uh, group of men-at-arms. So it's not entirely surprising or unsurprising that that would happen. And they're always running, so it makes it much more difficult than it needs to be. At last, sire, the Red Knight is ahead of us. It looks like we arrived just in time. Okay, I've got him. How many can we finish off here? Not many. But I'm going to do what I did before, and I'm going to run around here. Okay, got them all. Wonderful. Now there's just this one group left that's right up here. Actually, I'm going to set the archer there. I'm going to move Gareth in. I'm going to reveal these traps so I don't stumble on them. And there you can see it. a lot of the traps. They are killing pits, it looks like, so that would kill archers. So we just need to get these last men-at-arms. Somebody get these guys. No! Wow, that was close. They almost added a height advantage enough to kill me. In other words, their range is almost on parity with mine. Keep moving, Gareth. We've removed all of the initial barriers there, so now we're going to move all the units. Get them all moving and move them into position there. And we have quite a few, so... I'm pretty confident that this is going to be a fairly straightforward victory. So now we just have to deal with the Red Knight. I've said it time and time again, the units would like to pathfind through the trap areas. Now one thing we can do is actually move into this castle here. And if we do that, we're going to get access to their troops. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, send an arch over here. Hopefully it can get in. But yeah, I can just walk in through the gatehouse, I'm pretty sure. Setting out. Good. <sighs> Idiot archer. Ran right in front of all of them. Yeah, you can see some of the archers are turning into my units now. Yeah. Like that. So now all these units for the most part are my archers. My swordsmen. See? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. They get them into this tower, if at all possible. Really? It only fits two? Okay. Oh well. And now let's see what we can do. All my units are over here. So let's see what I can do about taking care of these guys. I'm going to grab my archers. I'm going to stick them up here on top of this bluff, I think. So they can shoot at the archers right there. Hopefully they'll win. You know, I mean, they have the disadvantage of being the first to arrive. So, yeah, we're taking pretty heavy casualties here. Probably not the best, but I just, I'm not going to accept them running and just grabbing a whole bunch of my units like that. So now what do we do? I want to bait. I want to bait a unit. I'm going to grab this archer, run him out here, and I'm going to bait these uh, men-at-arms there. And then we're just going to move them into position here. Okay, that got them, that got them moving, all right. I'm going to stand them right here next to this tower, and hopefully they're going to mow them down. Or maybe not. A lot of them are getting killed, but not all of them. What the devil? Oh, they're fighting engineers, okay. I'm gonna use my swordsmen to attack them. Wow, they're really dedicated. I mean, look at that. Came running right up here on the walls. Okay, that gets rid of that threat. So now I'm just going to rush the keep here with my men at arms. And then bring up my crossbows in the rear here. And I'm also gonna get Gareth up on top of the keep. Get the men at arms in the keep as fast as possible. How is Gareth doing? He lost his horse. This might be a problem. Okay, I got all the archers out of there, so now I'm just going to set up an ambush here with my uh, crossbows and pikemen. The pikemen can engage. I'm going to grab these archers and move them into range, and then I'm also going to grab my swordsmen here. And we're going to target the Red Knight. 
Okay, let's take these uh, pikemen, and we're also going... Okay, they're engaging those pikemen. Excellent. Set them to defensive. I also have two swordsmen there, so I'm going to send my Gareth into the battle as well. Hopefully to balance the odds here. I like it they shoot the peasants instead of shooting at the enemy uh, swordsmen fighting my pikemen there. Genius, guys. You really are the best of the best, aren't you? Okay, everybody attack the Red Knight. That includes crossbows. And that's it. Excellent. Simple as that. Polar bears are destroying our what? Walls, my lord. Polar bears? After Gareth freed Lady Leonors from the grip of the Red Knight and returned to Camelot, he was rewarded with a knighthood and granted a place on the round table. After he'd had a good bath and a new set of clothes, Lynette suddenly saw a new side to this former kitchen boy and the couple was seen regularly courting in the castle gardens. So that pretty much concludes it for mission number four, the making of Sir Gareth. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.